So we were sitting here tonight watching TV and uh, watching Netflix. And a while back, we come across this show called Blacklist, which, you know, it shows quite a few seasons. And there's like 22 episodes in a show. Uh, it's really good. It's had other things that over the time that I've caught I don't retain yet. Um, surprises of what's said and what's done and stuff like that. But nothing got me any better than tonight we was watching. Uh, it's the first episode or first season. I don't know which episode it is. I think 18, 17 or 18. Uh, somewhere right in through there. And he come out and he said, you know, she, she asked, there was a guy in particular that he was wanting to get. Uh, he missed him over some money quite a bit. So anyways, he, she said, uh, you think he's just going to come in for you? And he said, no. He said, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cause a problem. And his reaction is going to be, you know, well, maybe I should come to him since he offered to help me the first time. And he said, then I've got you. And that's why a lot of the way the world works. Uh, you know, the, not really the leader of the country that we see, it's the leaders that we don't see. Some of them call them the dark state, some of them call them the Illuminati, and some of them just say they. But, but what they do is, even though I don't agree with everything he says, uh, David Icke, he came on there and he came up with a formula. Problem, reaction, solution. And they, the powers that be, Illuminati, whatever you want to call them, Dark State, I really don't think Dark State does them justice because these people are everywhere, running everything. But anyway, whatever you feel comfortable calling them, they create a problem and then they have a bunch of think tanks that they sit around and all they do is they try to figure out uh, what reaction people will have. And so once they figure that out, then they say, okay, well, they can have this reaction or that reaction or another reaction. You know, they, they've got two or three scenarios that could go down. And for that, they create a solution for each one of them. So that they create this problem. The crowd has a, the public basically uh, has a uh, reaction to it. And meanwhile, they've went out there and said, well, we can do this for you, we can do that for you. So they go in and they say, wait a minute, the government said that they could do this, that, or this. And so they do it. And Everybody's fine because, for one, they fed them bread and circuses. Uh, and that came from the Romans. They said that people were content as long as they had bread and circuses. Well, now we don't have bread and circuses. We have NFL, NBA, uh, sports cars, boxing. We've got all kinds of bread or circuses. Bread, little by little, are getting on it. Uh, you know, bread's when you get your money from uh, either seeing that one of these circuits continue, or better yet, that the government gives you money. And so you're now dependent upon the government. You're dependent upon them for your entertainment. You're dependent upon them for your livelihood. And I guess the bottom line to this is... 
when you see a lot of weird shit going on, you know, you're sitting there going, oh my God, now what? You know, it's, it's just one weird thing after another. Then that's not an accident. I forget what president it was. One of the presidents said, nothing happens by accident. Everything is orchestrated for a reason. And I believe that. I used to not. I used to be a sheep, which is a Nazi term. Sheeple. Uh, meaning people and sheep. So, now you know where three of them terms come from. They just, uh, I don't know, it, it's just strange how, you know, they, they, uh, you hear terms nowadays and you think, well, there's a new term and it's not new. It's like, uh, who was it, Solomon? Said, there's nothing new under the sun. That's kind of a short listed version of it. But, or maybe a, a piece is where it says that. That which has, has always been. And we'll be again.